Greetings everybody, welcome back to Weekly Wildlife Wisdom, As so far I've been your host Zero Yeti, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, with the first annual week being the Atlantic Bluefin Tuna. Also known as the Northern Bluefin, the Giant Bluefin Tuna, or the Tuni, is a species of tuna in the family Scombridae, which is native to both the western and eastern Atlantic Ocean as well as the Mediterranean Sea, where they can be found in both tropical and temperate open waters. Bluefins dive to depths of upwards of 3,000 3, feet, where they hunt small fish such as herrings, sardines, eels, and mackerel, and invertebrates such as squid and crustaceans. They are also partially filter feed on plankton and zooplankton, but this does not provide enough nutritional value for them uh, to support their dietary needs, so it's only part of their diet. Uh, they exhibit opportunistic hunting in schools of fish organized by size. Their white skeletal muscle allows for large contractions, which aids in bursts of swimming to ensure prey capture. The Atlantic bluefin tuna are themselves preyed upon by sea lions, orcas, pilot whales, sharks, and other large fish. Average around 6.5 to 8 feet in length and 550 pounds in weight, with exceptionally large individuals of upwards of 12 feet in length and 1,500 pounds not being unheard of, the Atlantic bluefin tuna is by far the largest tuna species and one of the largest extant bony fish. The body is robust and rhombodal in profile, like a rhombus shape, and the head is conical and the mouth is rather large. Their color is dark blue above with gray below and the gold coruscation uh, covering the body and bright yellow caudal finlets. The bluefin possesses an enormous amount of skeletal tissue, muscle tissue, one of the largest um, percentages in the animal kingdom, which allows the animal to swim up to 43 miles per hour despite their large size. Uh, as such, it is very efficient, has a very efficient circuit, circulatory system and possesses one of the highest blood hemoglobin concentrations amongst fish. Uh, this allows them to efficiently deliver oxygen to their tissues, uh, which is combined with the fact that it is warm blood and means the bluefin tuna can live in, in the resource-rich but chilly and turbulent waters of the North Atlantic. Bluefin tuna are oviparous, congregating together in large groups to spawn. Over several days, the female releases up to 30 million eggs to the water, which are then fertilized externally by the males. The eggs hatch in as little as 48 hours, and ideal conditions of bluefin tuna will reach sexual maturity around 5 years of age and live upwards of 50 years. Next up is the plain zebra, also known as the common zebra. It is the most commonly... A uh, common and geographically widespread species of zebra. It is named to the vast majority of sub-Saharan Africa. They can be found in most habitats, aside from true deserts, dense jungle, and swamps. They show a particular preference for savannas and dry woodlands, where they feed upon grasses, flowers, forbs, shrubs, fruit, leaves, twigs, corns, tubers, root, and rhizomes. Plain zebras live in cohesive herds and in the wild, which can number in the hundreds. These large herds are comprised of several smaller harem herds, which consist of one stallion, several females, and their offspring. Young males that have not reached that have not yet gained their own harem live in bachelor herds. Females within a harem have a hierarchy depending on how long they have been with the stallion. The female that joined the stallion first is the alpha female. Predators of the plain zebra include lions, hyenas, wild dogs, crocodiles, and cheetahs. Both sexes typically stand around four to four and a half feet tall at the shoulder and seven to eight feet in length, while males are typically heavier, weighing around 450 to 700 pounds compared to females, which weigh in around 350 to 550 pounds. It is, it is heavy bodied with relatively short legs, and the neck is thicker in males than in females. The ears are upright and have rounded tips, and as with all wild equids, the plain zebra has an erect mane along the neck with a tuft of hair at the end of the tail. They are boldly striped in black and white with no two individuals looking exactly alike. Compared to other species, the plain zebra has broader stripes. Um, male zebras acquire a young female by approaching her while in her family herd. When she first reaches sexual maturity, he must challenge, fight, and subdue her father to win the female, who will then join him. Other males also attempt to steal, may also attempt to steal her. The stallion that first mates with the female is the one that she will remain with for the majority of her life. Female zebras are pregnant from 12 to 14 months and give birth to one foal. Female foals remain with their natal herd until they join an unrelated male, whereas male foals leave their mother when she has another foal to join a bachelor herd of other young males. Under ideal conditions, a plain zebra may live up to 40 years. Next up is the Madagascar Harrier Hawk, which is a large species of bird of prey in the family Acipitridae, 
which is endemic to the island of Madagascar. It can be found throughout much of Madagascar's habitats, including spiny forests, desert scrubland, wetlands, farmlands, lowland rainforests, and montane cloud, cloud forests, up to 6,600 feet in elevation. Uh, like the African Harrier Hawk, they possess an unusual adaptation of having double-jointed legs. This allows them to use their legs to both manipulate objects, uh, move obstacles, and remove prey from their hiding spots, such as the holes of trees, weaver nests, termite mounds, shallow burrows, or rock crevices. These tactics allow the Madagascar Harrier Hawk to prey on a wide range of animals, including insects, bats, reptiles, rodents, amphibians, tin rigs, lemurs, and nesting birds. They may also eat fruit and nuts. Uh, reaching around 2 feet in length, 2 pounds in weight, and uh, sporting a roughly 5 foot wingspan, the Madagascar Harrier Hawk has a long, broad wings which are covered in light gray feathers. They have a black tail with a single broad gray brand bisecting the black along halfway its length. Uh, the inner parts are white with dense dark barring on the breast, at the belly, and underwing coverts. Uh, while the upper breast and throat are the same color as the upper parts of the body and form a gray hood. This is broken by the yellow face. The bill and legs are also yellow. During the breeding season, which lasts from August to November, Madagascar Harrier Hawks perform aerial displays, including mutual circling and sky dancing. They are a monogamous species with both males help with both mates, helping to construct a large bulky nest out of sticks and branches some 50 to 100 feet above the ground and in the canopy of a tree. The female lays two eggs which are brewed by both parents and hatch after 39 days. Fledging takes place around seven weeks of age. Under ideal conditions, the Madagascar Harrier Hawk may live upwards of 15 years. Next up, we have the Merton's Water Monitor, also commonly called as the Merton's Water Lizard. It is a species of monitor lizard in the genus Varanus, which is endemic to northern Australia. It can be found throughout wetlands, coastal marshes, swamps, and alongside lakes, rivers, and coastlines. It is a semi-aquatic reptile and a strong swimmer, which is seldom far seen far from water. Uh, it is often seen basking in midstream rocks or on logs and branches that overhang waterways throughout its range. When disturbed, it will drop into the water, or it can stay submerged for long periods of around 30 minutes. Uh, the Merton's water monitor diet. The Merton's water monitor's diet is comprised of insects, crustaceans, fish, eggs, mollusks, amphibians, small mammals, and carrion. They are themselves eaten by large fish such as sharks, crocodiles, snakes, dingoes, and larger lizards, as well as birds of prey. Reaching around three feet in length and three to five pounds in weight, these lizards sport a strongly laterally compressed tail, which is around 1.5 times the length of the rest of the body. The coloration of Merton's water monitor is dark brown to black above, with uh, many creamed yellow spots. The inner parts are paler white to yellowish, and the gray molting around the throat and blue-gray bars on the chest. Bane takes place near the start of the dry season, after which time females lay around nine eggs inside of their burrows in a specially built nesting chamber filled with leaf litter. The eggs hatch within three to six months, and depending on the temperature, uh, and the hatchlings usually enter the water and swim straight away after hatching. Uh, under due conditions, the Merton's water monitor may live upwards of 20 years. Next up is the wild turkey, which is... Uh, an upland ground bird native to North America and was one of two extant species of turkey, with the other being the oscillated turkey, which we covered in a video a long time ago. It is the ancestor of the domestic turkey, which is, was originally derived from the southern Mexican subspecies of the wild turkey. They prefer to dwell in open deciduous woodlands, but can be found in mixed coniferous forests, tall grasslands, croplands, orchards, and march orchards and marshes. Sorry. Wild turkeys are gregarious birds that travel in small to medium-sized flocks, usually with one dominant male and up to 20 or more hens, which makes up its harem. During the winter, multiple flocks may join up and create large groupings of 150 or more birds. Wild turkeys are omnivorous and their diet consists of acorns, fruit, seeds, pine cones, roots, leaves, ferns, insects, carrion, and small amphibians and small reptiles. Wild turkeys are themselves preyed upon by foxes, coyotes, hawks, owls, eagles, lynx, bobcats, cougars, bears, alligators, and crocodiles. 
All turkeys show marked sexual dimorphism with females being smaller around 2.5 to 3 feet in length and 5 to 12 pounds in weight compared to males which reach around 3.5 to 4 feet in length and 11 to 25 pounds in weight. This makes the wild turkey the heaviest member of the order Galliforms. Despite their weight, wild turkeys, unlike their domestic counterparts, are fast, if awkward, flyers. Both sexes have long reddish-yellow to grayish-green legs. Their body feathers are generally blackish or dark brown, sometimes gray, um, with a coppery sheen that makes them more complex in adults. Uh, Adult males, called toms or gobblers, have large featherless reddish head, a red throat, and red wattles on the throat and neck. Males also have a long, dark, fan-shaped tail and glossy bronze wings. Their breeding season can last from late February to early August, uh, and during such time, males try and mate with as many partners as they can, displaying for females and other males by puffing out their feathers, spreading out their tails, and dragging their wings, gobbling and drumming or booming. This behavior is most commonly referred to as strutting. After mating, hens will lay 10 to 14 eggs in an estimate of shallow dirt depressions engulfed in woody vegetation. After a 28-day incubation period, the eggs hatch, and the chicks are ready to leave their nest and follow their mothers um, in as little as 12 to 24 hours, and will stay with their mother for around four months. Under ideal conditions, a wild turkey will reach sexual maturity around one to two years, and may live up to ten years. Next up is the disco clam, also known as the disco scallop, the electric scallop, the electric clam, or the electric flame scallop, is a bi is a marine bivalve mollusk in the family Limidae and the genus Cetondyes. Uh, despite its common name, they are not true scallops and they are actually from a group known as the file clams due to their rough textured shells. Disco clams are platonic filter feeders native throughout the tropical waters of the central Indo-Pacific region from Indonesia to the Palu Islands and North Caledonia where they can be found alongside crevices and holes in coral reefs and rocky outcrops. Disco clams are occasionally eaten by fish, crustaceans, and octopi. Reaching around 3 to 4 inches in size, the disco clam has a brown or white shell with a vibrant red-orange mantle. The thin red or white tentacles extending from the edge of its mantle. Uh, These clams have around 40 tiny eyes along their mantle. Electric flame scallops uh, have an ex lighting appearance as they flicker electricity, uh, which can be seen coursing across the mantle edges just inside their shells. Research by graduate student Lindsay Dottery in 2013 showed these color flashes of blue-purple are not bioluminescent phenomenon and are instead caused by highly reflective tissue on the very outer edge of the mantle that is exposed and hidden again very rapidly. So the change back and forth from white reflective tissue to red tissue creates this appearance of flashing. Dottery also discovered that this flashing serves as an effective predator deterrent, especially against peacock mantis shrimp. Disco clams are broadcast spawners, meaning they simultaneously release their eggs and sperm into the water, timed with the full moon. And that ma- these mix and then float until they are large enough to settle on the bottom and start looking for a hole to live in. Uh, this float time, called the pelagic larval stage, is very important to development, and very few gametes survive to become disco clams. A disco clam may live upwards of three years. In our extinct animal week is Odobonosotops. Odobonosotops is an extinct genus of small toothed whale that lived throughout what is now Peru and Chile, from the Tortonian stage of the Miocene to the Zanclean stage of the Pliocene, some 7.2 to 3, sorry about that, 7.2 to 3.6 million years ago. The holotype, consisting of a partial skeleton, was recovered from the Pisco Formation of Peru by Dr. Christian de Mazon in 1993, who named the animal Odobonosotops, coming from the Greek odon, meaning tooth, bono, meaning walk, and Latin cetus, meaning whale and ops meaning like, meaning cetacean that seems like seems to walk on its teeth. This is also refers to similarity to the walrus genus Obo Odobensis. Uh, the species name Peru Venasis, referring to its country of origin origin. Since nineteen ninety three several more partial specimens have been recovered, including a pair of well preserved fossils in Chile, 
also recovered by Dr. Mozan, uh, who determined that they represented a second species of, called O. leptodon. Reaching roughly 6 to 13 feet in length and weighing between 350 and 1400 pounds in weight, Odobonosotops was an early member of the dolphin superfamily, more closely related to narwhals and belugas than dolphins proper. Its neck articulations show that it was very flexible, being able to turn its head over 90 degrees. This, coupled with its broad sa- snout and similar to that of a walrus, suggests it was a bottom feeder, searching for mollusks and sucking them out of their shells with a powerful tongue. Odobonosotops was most his most famous and striking feature are a pair of backwards pointing tusks which project towards the rear of the body and reach roughly a foot in length. In males, however, these, te- these tusks were highly asymmetric with one tusk being around 9.5 inches in length and the other reaching upwards of 3.5 feet in length. The exact purpose of these tusks remain a mystery with some proposing that they were used in feeding, others think they were a sensory organ like the tusks of modern narwhals. Um, they may have been used in defense against predators or in inter- interspecific combat with males, utilizing them to joust for mates. As always, take care to my guys, guys, and non-binary pals. Have a wonderful day.